Hi hello welcome you all today we'll be discussing about how to update the firmware traditional way in IRC 3025-3125 let's begin so before updating firmware let's check what is the current version available so log into service mode and go to display and version and these are the main boot language all so this is the current version which is available this method we are using uh, it's called UST user support tool so for for the user support tool your device IP and your computer IP should be in the same range so I have changed IP address to my computer IP address so now I have a firmware which I got it from Canon the similar way you can get the firmware and extract it and in that file you have uh, many types of uh, files available you can see some of them DGM some of them application so the main one is uh, main controller application and it has a DC controller as well as the language language part so whichever applications you want to run you can just run it so before you run this application your device should be connected with the same network and your device should be in the firmware accepted mode which we call the download mode run an application of a main controller so this application will open a canon user support tool and this is a main controller and language firmware can be updated together I'm using user support tool version 1.32 which is the latest available uh, with Canon so click main controller and uh, next also the next screen you click next so and go to management setting And, uh, click update firmware and click via PC then when you click yes then the machine will ready to accept the firmware once the machine is in download mode you go back to your computer and just execute the file so this file will be pushed from your computer to the pr to the printer by uh, in my case it is network rj45 in in you can use usb cable for updating firmware as well so type your ip address of your device and click next and click yes automatically the firmware extracted and push from ust to your uh, respective uh, device so wait for the flow to complete now the firmware has been updated successfully so in this case you can just exit by clicking stop or you can restart the machine and wait uh, for the machine to get restart so once the machine restarted you could check again the firmware new firmware version so hope uh, you like this video and it is an in informative Thanks for watching.